Hello everybody, my name is DeathSavior84 and today we are going into Creativerse. Today we are going to be covering some of the tips and tricks that you find in the game that some new people might not know about and may want to know for future reference. We're going to start out with a lot of people know about is a the cold diamond trick. Basically what you're going to do going to want to do is uh, I'm going to do it to file it you're going to want to find tar down in caves things like that I got a tar spawner myself that I already made but I'm going to show you I think I have one down in this cave over here we're actually going to go find the tar and so you guys can see what you're looking for where at sometimes you can find it higher up in the cave sometimes a lot of times you're going to find it down inside the uh cave like slack tight area of the caves if you don't know what that is you gotta keep digging down into the lower areas I have pro so I'm gonna be using the flashlight so it'd be a lot easier for me to you know so me have to put lights down everywhere I can just kinda run around and do this I do believe yeah see down here, we we got some tar already right here. But you, once you get up to a high enough power cell, I do believe the diamond cell, you should, you'll be able to pick this up and take it with you. But if you can't, this would be a good little spot to take. Do I have any? I need to get rid of all this ice and stuff on my inventory, so I shall be right back. Once I do that and get, we will go on to the bombs that we're gonna need. So, if you bear with me, I will have all that for you soon. Be right back. Alright, on that note, I want to... We're going to stop for a second on getting the bomb made. I want to show you guys something. This is another... Something a little something you guys might not know. But, if you click on a recipe that you want in the craft, over here it has a little nut thing up here you can see my mouse is moving around it, it says track when I put a check mark, check mark in that and then when you exit it you'll see it's up here and where my mouse is up here in the left corner upper left corner area it says fire bombs and as tells you what you need as you collect what you need it'll turn green to make at least one so that's just something to keep in mind Alright, so we got the gunpowder. We're going to grab some of that. Hardened lava we got. Warm, warm teeth we got. But, I do not believe I'm going to have the shrewd shrewd tails. Oh, no, I do. Okay, never mind. There's 39 of them in here. Alright, so let's go down and get the hardened lava. This is my storage area, by the way. But, we get the hardened lava. And now we have what we need to make fire bombs. As you can see, like I said, everything up here is now green. So, we have enough to at least make one st one set of fire bombs, whatever it is. If sometimes you get one thing. Eight. Four. Which I believe with bombs, you get four. So, we'll hit Q. Go into our craft menu. Click on it. And then we click clap, craft. Hey, baby. Sorry. Anyways, moving on. We, when you're done, you can either uncheck it from here, or we'll do it this way. Hit Alt, come up here, and press. Just click the X, and then hit Alt again, and back into the game. So we got the fire bombs. We have to go up and collect the ice bombs now. Going up over here. As you see, there we go. We got ice bombs already made. We're going to put these bombs. Good. This is a good tip. Always keep your bombs in your inventory because if you accidentally click on them, you don't know what kind of destruction you're going to do. I mean, when I, we had first built this house, I accidentally threw a firebomb and burned up most of this area right here and had to fix it. So it's, a, it's just a good tip to have that, hey, you might want to do this. Alright, anyway, that's bothering me. I'm going to have to change it. Whoops, let's go back in the house. Give me a second. So. Let 
but yeah what we want to do is we want to get some kind of crafted block or you could use stone block whatever sand will turn in you kind of be got to be careful with because sand will turn into salt unless you're trying to make salt then you could do this do any do this but that's not really the pit that you're going to want to make we're going to go with, I have a good bit of this uh, checkered obsidian wall, it looks like. So we're going to grab that. Actually, we have more of the rhombus. So we'll go with that. Alright, so let's teleport to an area where I can do this without there being one. As you can see, i got a bunch of uh, teleporters here. Go to the lighthouse. And then I'll teleport to my mining area where we can build one up in the mountains and you guys can see what's going on then we'll have to go back and collect everything all right so let's go up here through here But yeah, we are going to want to build, show you how to build the pit first. I mean, the pit can be different sizes. I'm just going to do a quick one, show you guys what you need to, what you guys are going to basically be working with here. Alright, so, we'll do a small one. I mean, you can make it bigger, things like that, but I'll do a pretty decent small one. Whoops. They want to collect you. Go back in. Alright, so now we're going to want to fill this in here. Ah! No. Alright, and we're back. Now. This is just the beginning. This is going to be the bottom part of it. Now we want to put the edges around. If I can hit the right areas. Alright, so there you go. You have your typical small little pit, pool, whatever you want to call it. It's just a quick little thing. It's nothing major. But the one thing we did forget, and I will return, is I'm just going to go, I'll show you, when I get back to my pool of uh, tar I will show you guys what I or not pool of tar but my tar uh, spawner farmer whatever you want to call it spawner I will show you guys what I have set up there alright guys so we're almost back now to the spawner farmer whatever you want to call it but see you have, I have it set up basically once you collect you can collect tar if you place just build something like this it doesn't have to be this big it be one side just mm -hmm. one thing big I go with three usually. I don't know why. It's, maybe it's just me. Cause sometimes you got issues with the liquid not flowing. Different things are taking a little bit. But um, I put three across the top and it all runs. And then all I gotta do is leave. We're gonna want to go back to the house and um, collect some extractors. So you guys can see what what the dealio is here. That this is actually a real working way of getting coal and diamond. Also, uh, if any of the devs do end up watching this, I've noticed with Grand Arc Chests, you can't open them from the side. I don't know if that's with all of them, or if I'm just having trouble with that one. Not quite sure. Anyways, let's go back. But anyways, you're going to see we have this pit. Let's get out our tar. Alright, so we're going to lay our tar down inside this pit. Should flow. 
don't need to be nothing majestic. It'll uh, fill itself in. All right. What we're gonna want to do now is we're gonna want to get our bombs out. Ice bomb, fire bomb. Well, first off, I'm gonna show you. You can, as you can see, we're gonna make. You gotta make coal. So what you're gonna need after you put your tar down is your ice bombs. Your ice bombs will make your tar turn into coal, like so. See, so coal node, coal node, coal node. Um, if I get my extractors out, you can see, clearly see that it can be extracted. Just like normal coal. Which just comes in real helpful if you're planning on making asphalt. Or if you're just in need of a bunch of coal really fast and you don't feel like going searching for it. Anything you're going to use coal for, this is good. This will help out. I mean, I make I use it just to get coal, so I don't have to go because I'm lazy and I don't go mining for it. Now, if I lay down some more of the tar inside this pit. We will see that I can actually now make coal again with ice bombs. But, at the same time, now I take the fire bombs to the coal. And you have diamond. Again, whoops. See, this is what I mean by when you're finished, put these in your inventory because you never know what you're going to accidentally do. But as you see in there, I didn't scroll all the way to my... Uh, use the scroll wheel and hit my um, extractor, so... I just threw a wasted a ice bomb, which require these little Rambo things that are running around here. You need to kill them and take their tusks, or I believe you get them if you do t tame them as a pet and feed them. But it's a lot funner and a lot faster to just kill them and get a bunch of them, as long as you find an area where there's a good bit of them, anyways. Usually they're up in mountains. Mountains. Like, they spawn, I believe, on peaks, on this peak stone, the darker stone. But, as you, like I said, as you can see, it's extracting. I can go inside, it's showing you the diamond, just like if you're extracting it from the lava layer. Um, the other good, cool thing about diamond is, which I'm not even going to be really that worried about this. Uh, you can actually use it to build it this way as well. I shall be right back, and I will go to my dice. So we're back. It's loading up. Um, we're going. To, it's taking me to the build itself right now. All right. So as you can see, we'll go outside now, so you guys can get a look at it, the building itself from outside. This isn't really to show this off, so I ain't going to talk much about it. More here to build up and let you guys see what's going down. Oh. But as you can see, the body of this build is basically all diamond. Get up higher above the thing so you guys can see the actual porch. The roof is made from diamond glass and things like that, but I actually made the structure itself from diamond, like pure diamond. Did it take a lot of time? Yes, it does. But yeah, see, diamond node. Floor is diamond node. go inside here got like a v-shaped wall all made out of diamond inside here it's a rounded this took a this takes a lot but it's a rounded room made out of diamond right up to the starts building the peak use diamond slabs you can use those for like decoration light shines through them that's another tip if you guys didn't know just like I did over here, diamond slabs. I put a red, put some red lighting up in here, 
And it made that pink glow against the blue. Whoops. Um, also, a lot of you guys were asked, I've seen people always asking about the R. They don't, man, they realize you can rotate stuff. If you just press R, like, let me, uh, if you just press R while you're highlighting a block, you can paste, basically, how that block was. But if you hold R, like, let's say you're on a block that you want to rotate, if you hold R and use your left mouse button, you hold it down, you can rotate it to however you want. You can do that on any blocks. A lot of people don't know you can rotate slabs. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try some lighting here. Yeah, you can rotate the lighting. Um, chairs, I don't... You can rotate the last of I know. Yep. Look, now, now let's go try to sit on the upside down chair. And I get the game is glitched. I'm sitting upside down and through the ground. So, yeah. Alright, so let's ro rotate this back up. Oops, there it is. But, I mean, there's... Pr all you gotta do is try. But, yeah, you have to hold R in and hold down your left click to rotate things around. That's a tip that... I want to give everybody because a lot of people don't realize that's what you need to do. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is something I kind of found myself, but we need to go to an area where you can collect a lot of stuff because this requires if you're building a big area and you need to suck stuff up. So I'm just gonna hurry up, and teleport to my teleport pad, and well, maybe I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and okay, let's see. This I'm not too worried about. I'm building a pretty decent sized town here anyway, so it's going to need more stuff cleared out. But I found this little trick the other day. I don't know if it's supposed to be in here or not. I think it's a mess up, like a glitch or something in the game. I don't think it's supposed to happen. But basically, hold down your left mouse button, start sucking, and you press your shift key until you get uh, the sticky keys command come up, which I might have to do a window overlay so you guys can see what I... What I got going on here. Give me a moment. Alright, so, anyways, you guys can see the little box up here that says yada yada. Sticky keys will let you yeah, shift control all for one day loaded by pressing all one time. Pressing one, one key at a time. You just want to hit no on this so it doesn't actually work. And then go back into the game. Oh, it didn't work this time. Hmm, that's interesting. Weird, it's not working. But anyways, I had it working where maybe it doesn't work all the time. But if you do that with the sticky keys while you're holding in your left shift. And you hit no. There it is. It'll basically, look. It's sucking up on its own. All I gotta do is move my character around. And it sucks up blocks. Which well, this is nice if you're doing like a big area. All you have to do is rotate the mouse around. And move your character. You don't have to hold down on the click. Which saves your mouse in the long run. Because all the constant clicking does wear it out. So I like this. This kind of does help with it. Um, I'm calling it the auto. I don't know. Auto sucker. If you can come up with a better name down in the comments, let me know. But yeah, basically, as long as you, I don't, I can go into this, like I'm going to talk to somebody, and it's still going to work. If I go into, like, the escape, uh, press E to get into my inventory, Q to get into the crafting, I will, it'll reset it, and you will have to do it again. But as long as you don't go in there, and you're not worried about looking and seeing anything in your inventory... You can do this until your inventory is full. Is what I'm getting at here. But, I don't know if this is intentional. Um, or if it's just an, but by a happening chance that I figured this out. Um, if anybody knows, like if any of the developers or see this video... 
and can give me a heads up on if this is meant to be in the game or not. And if it's not, I do hope you guys leave it in the game because this will make things a lot easier for people. When it comes to, like I said, it won't wear their mouse out as much and things like that from all the clicking because it does wear your mouse out over time. And there's a lot of clicking and stuff and holding down that goes on in this game on that mouse button. Alright, so let's say I want to stop doing this. No more. Went in my inventory, came back out, done. There's no more. Run around just like normal. Alright, so that's a tip I wanted to give everybody because... Um... Makes it a lot easier. This is a, my own personal tip, which I've seen a, quite a few people actually do it. I'm All my teleporters, I make... Tele, which I made a video about teleporters in the past. And I believe I mentioned this, but I'm going to mention it again. Because a lot of people still don't understand, but... I do have one teleporter where all my teleporters teleport back to. And all it uses is... On mine is this crystal shard. Every teleporter that I have somewhere teleports back to the, that crystal shard. And they all teleport back into my house. Where... Oh, at that one same teleport pad. No other teleport pad has that. And if you're in a world that's pretty big... I, this is my suggestion... Set a thing to where people can't have to pick a certain item to put in a certain slot. See? Can't teleport. Same thing. It, this is just a return. Whereas this one I can go down. And then I can go back up with. Going up. But if... It, see it come out there. But I cannot run into this one and teleport nowhere. It's just for... The returning. But, like I said, you can have different size pits. I got one out here. My pit is a lot bigger than the one we made out in the, up in the mountains just a little bit ago. So I glide over to it and get there a little bit, little bit quicker. Because I, jump, I was jumping in low gravity. But, see, mine's pretty deep. I couldn't even get out of here if I didn't have my low gravity on. Which I didn't even make it that time. But if you're close enough, you can get out. Because, But basically what you do is... If I'm placing the tar down to make stuff here... Is you want to leave one block space... Whoops. Between everything. So... That way, this will all flow together, and you'll have five layers of whatever you're uh, making. The only difference on this way is, if you're going to bomb it, you got to do it a little bit differently. I'll make some coal. I'll show you how it's done. If I might have to get, I'm gonna have to get some more tar. So. Once I get this, <clears throat> blush me. Anyways, as you can see, now mm -hmm. we have these blo stone blocks set up. Let's go do some more uh, collecting of the tar from this. Mm -hmm. Why didn't it flow? Well, be right back, guys. Exiting the world again. There we go. I think I need at least 30 of these just to be on the safe side. Tar does take a little bit of time. You might be able to collect tar with an iron cell. I can't remember. It's either diamond or iron cell you can start picking tar up with. If you get a good one, like how this keeps respawning real fast, if you get a good, then you only need one. But sometimes it's better to have a couple just in case that one doesn't want to spawn as fast. You can still collect. So they have to sit there and wait. Alright, so what we're going to want to do here is we're going to go up. Alright. We're going to want to get on our tar. 
As, as you can see, it's starting to flow down. We're going to want to fill in every little hole because it's just going to run downwards. So every block you're going to want to do. This is how I usually do. I just fill up the print, like the perimeter, a little bit before I do. Whoa, 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 no! And things like that can happen. You got to be careful about, cause that will flow everywhere. But if you grab it from the top, like I just did, where the source, where I dropped it, um, you won't have that issue. Okay. Anyways, so the whole outer rim is completely filled in. You need to go. Get all of you. And scared launching ro Rockster. Anyways, now you're going to want to put it between each of these. As you can see, it's filling in. And then, pull, pull, pull. The water, the liquid's still flowing. It's filling in. There will sometimes, I have had it where there'll be either I don't let it flow long enough or something and on the inside you will get some area where it's just a very small area where the bombs didn't hit right alright so we're gonna make some coal so what we're gonna need is the ice bombs basically with these I'm gonna have to come down here around the sides and uh... If I, I don't want to say how big of an area this will cover. I mean, I've been told different things. I believe they have a wiki that will tell you how many each one will. But I'm not quite sure, like, off the top of my head. Alright, so now if we go up top, we should have coal. Except for, like, a small area. Yeah. Well, this is the area where most of the time it fills up, but there's a little area down below that doesn't get the coal. Alright, so let's put the bombs away. And like before, instead of me extracting, I'm just going to pull the sides off so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so this is the ground floor. This is like the bottom so your coal is going to start right here as you can see we got one two three four five layers of coal right there so you got a good bit of coal coming from just that one area or this one little uh, build because you think that's five high and I believe I made it Seven by seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, seven. So it's seven that way, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got a seven by seven area. With that is five high, so that's a decent amount of coal, just from this one pit. And just think, you can make that into diamond as well, which means even more. So that's my bit. That is mine. You can build, like I said, you can do different types, different sizes. That's like a, it's all on you how big you want to make your pit and what you want to do to make it. Be creative, things of that nature. Yeah. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to cover tip wise here. You could also cause, as you can see, this is. Basically, I put a Craigwood 
block down, wood down, and then a crag wood leaf. Then you set your queen bees on top. I usually do about three, put put a sp th put it down and put about two spaces and then put another one. Like, you go, let's say you put one here. And then you go one, two, and then three. That's where I'd put my next uh, queen bee. This is just my version of it. If you're having trouble finding cactus flowers, collect some uh, cactus and set it up they will spawn but it will you got to be careful because it will spawn boss hogs it will spawn uh dried leafies i've had trog i've had the dust devils i've had uh chizards it will spawn stuff but you get flowers just like that over there sometimes it will spawn like yellow flowers. If you do one with ash and wood, I'm sure you'll get red flowers and so on and so forth. Hey everybody, I'm it's loading up. We are going to what is the now known as the lava spawner. It was my original diamond build, but it never worked. But since diamond comes from the uh, lava layer, this works out very well. See, I was trying to do something down here, and it's too cold for the, in this area for it. But, as you can see, look. And I go inside. There you go. You even got a treasure chest to spawn in here. But, you get the... You got it. As long as you keep it dark in this area, they'll spawn. Basically, this is diamond is the best thing I found to spawn enemies, in my opinion. If, for lava enemies, this is the best area, best thing I found to spawn lava. You get warm arms, you get your hot foot. This is a good way, also, because now they drop, because uh, they drop tourmaline. You having trouble finding tourmaline? Make us make a spawner, and. Uh, Farm from the hot feet. Ooh, you're getting kind of close there. You need gunpowder? It hurt. It may hurt. Look at that. One already spawned over there. I don't remember that hot foot being there. Or not hot foot, the warm worm being there. You need hot gunpowder? Right there you go. Hot feet. Yeah, I don't remember this one being here. Get warm warm teeth. You need that for potions and things. And different other things. So. I mean. This is a good place to get stuff. This is a good way of getting things. You can do it with. Uh, corruption biomes. You can do it with anything. Night creatures. Um, what the frig. You can do it with night creatures. Corruption. Um, Slactite creatures. Mountain. You can. You can make a Rambu spawner, an Arctic Miru spawner. I mean, you name it, you can make it. So, hopefully these little tips and tricks has kind of helped you guys out. If you have any more questions or anything that you might want a video about that you might not know and it would help you to see somebody else do it, please leave a comment below or in the post that, I'm, that it, this was in. And I will get these videos to you when I got the time. I'm it's gonna be probably I'm gonna do videos maybe recording once a week from now on so I will go through and I will do if you have any questions I will get those answered for you guys um, again I want to thank playful for this awesome game keep on working hard you guys have done a great job with this you guys are very good for been working very hard for the community don't let anything just distract you from doing otherwise um again if any devs do please uh i know some of you guys have my uh steam um if not just leave a comment on on my video or something let me know if that uh sucking my auto sucker glitch 
Is it actually something you guys know about? Something you guys didn't know about? If you're planning on getting rid of it, something I would like to know. And I'm sure everybody else would like to know as well. Anyhow, I will see everybody in the next video. Bye!